What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about the greatest transfer of wealth ever is going to happen within the next 10 years and it's going to be financial wealth. It's going to be intellectual wealth. I'm going to explain to you what's going on with that. And if you have a job and you don't have a business, more than likely you're going to miss participating in the largest wealth transfer ever in the next 10 years. So we're going to talk about it because let's go ahead and talk about the late great Sam Cooke. If you don't know who Sam Cooke is, Google it. It's a very interesting story. Sam Cooke was a black man that owned his publishing in the 60s which meant that Sam Cooke owned himself. He owned his work. He owned his intellectual property. And that is one of the reasons many people feel that he was killed because this was a young, handsome black man that owned himself, owned his creation, owned his work, and was in a position to benefit from his work. This is one of the things that's going to take place because um, I sent out an email today talking about how to use tech to get rich in three years. And one of the downsides to tech is this new tech is going to allow the powers that be to steal intellectual property from its rightful owners. And this is one of the largest um, transfers of wealth that's going to happen because you will have people who will create things and someone will literally benefit from the creation. I'll give you an example. I cannot remember her name, but she was a black woman that they used her cells. They used her cells to formulate all of these things. A black woman is a, it's a big story. And these pharmaceutical companies made billions off of the DNA of this black woman and her family got nothing. And this is something that has always happened in history. It's always happened, but in the next 10 years, it's going to be epic for the proportions that's going to happen because with tech, because you know, I'm going to tell you a, a little story. Well, not right now. We'll get to that. But during this wealth transfer, you're going to see a staggering amount of money change hands whether it's cash, liquid capital, whether it's stocks, whether it's real estate, because what has happened historically is the money has went from the poor people and it has flowed up to the rich because the rich know all of the rules, they know all of the laws, they know all of the, the, uh, the hacks, they know all this stuff. And during this wealth transfer, like let's go on, let's like what's happening with real estate. I don't think real estate is going to crash, but there's going to be so many opportunities for people to make money with real estate because there's people who have real estate who are uneducated to what they have. And during this great wealth transfer, you're going to see, I feel in the next 10 years, because Elon Musk is one, one A for the way there. We're going to see our first trillionaire. We're going to see someone that's going to be worth a trillion dollars. And Elon Musk, like I said, is one eighth of the way. And that's why I feel it's going to happen. Um, you're going to see staggering amounts of wealth. You're going to see people and be honest, it's my intention to be one of the ranks because um, I was sitting here thinking, and th this is why you have got to have a business if you were not born wealthy. And we'll talk about that in a second because I was born in Adamsville, Alabama, and I've been able to transcend because I was using tech and I was adopting and leveraging the new technologies. And what historically has happened, you could take a kid with an IQ of 140, who grows up in the ghetto. And you could take a kid with an IQ of 140 that grows up in the, a middle-class suburbia. And historically, the kid who grows up in middle-class suburbia, let's say 
Let's not even say he has a 140 IQ. Let's say he's normal. You've got this genius level kid in the ghetto competing against this average kid, average white kid in the suburbs. The average white kid in the suburbs is going to proportionally have more wealth in his lifetime than this genius kid in the, in the hood because of a, what I like to call surplus rich environments. This kid in the ghetto, there's no surplus. They just barely hanging on. This kid in the white kid in the suburbs, this average white kid is surrounded by surplus and resources. So this kid is going to historically have a higher net worth than this genius level. Cause see, being smart is just not enough. It's not enough. Uh, Bill Gates, if you look in, into the history of Bill Gates, you look into the history of Jeff Bezos, you look into the history of Elon Musk, these guys grew up in resource rich environments. It's not enough to be smart. That's just not enough. You need the environment and you need the resources. And during this great wealth transfer, you're going to see a lot of resources shift up and a lot of people are going to get screwed. And one of the things that, you know, I was thinking, cause like I was working on the email cause I'm getting back into my copywriting and I was thinking I was able due to technology and technology is going to be the great liberator for certain folks who take action. I made $3 million while only spending 50,000. If you talk to any seasoned business person, that is a staggering accomplishment. And it happened because of tech. And one of the things, cause at my heart, I'm a nerd. And I thank God that I'm a nerd. I thank God that I grew up reading books and periodicals and living in the library because it was those habits that allowed me to dissect and interpret tech to make money. And once again, if you're a person who doesn't make a lot of money, you don't have an income problem. You have a skill set problem. You do not have valuable skill sets. Right now, I have a friend who has a son who's going to walk out of college at the age of 22 into a $150,000 a year job. Now, here's the thing about him. His father's a millionaire. So whether this guy actually went into a six figure job right out of college, he was going to be a millionaire eventually because of his father, because he's growing up in a resource rich environment. Uh, he went to Georgia Tech full ride because his parents, when he was little, his parents sent him to all of the camps. He got all of the tutoring. He got all of the education because when he came out, he had some learning disabilities. But because he was in a resource rich environment, his parents had the money and they also had the good sense and the care to make sure that he got what he needed. So he graduated high school with a 3.9 and got a full ride to Georgia Tech. So this is one of the things, and this is something else I've kind of talked to some of my rich friends with college age kids. This is kind of common that the people who have the money to pay for college, their kids, because they grew up in these resource rich environments, were going to school on full boat scholarships. And you see it over and over and over again. The rich get richer and the poor get poor, right? And during this wealth transfer, you're going to see a lot of intellectual transference that's going to happen. And it's going to be crazy because um, let me go ahead and hip, hip you to my plan because during this great, great wealth transfer, I have a staggering amount of intellectual property because let me go ahead and just tell you the plan. I already have a chunk of money over here that I can live the rest of my life off of, but that's not the game. That's not the business because I have a awesome opportunity that I feel if I do the right things, I deploy the right tech, I set this up right, I can make $50 million from intellectual property school. Now watch this. Everyone wants to be an Instagram person. Everyone wants to be a YouTuber. Everyone wants to have a podcast, but these people have the desire 
to be a podcaster and there's plenty of tutorials and there's a lot of helpful like once again kudos to the people in the podcast space they put out a lot of awesome great information but when it comes to turning that intellectual property into money that there's a huge disconnect there's a massive market of people who want to do podcasting who want to do youtube who want but like i see it every day i see youtubers who literally shoot themselves in the foot because of the way they set their youtube channel up they did not set their channel up for optimum monetization there are youtubers who have two and three and four and five million subscribers who don't make as much money as i do seriously they don't and what i see is an amazing opportunity during this wealth transfer to position myself in a, a position of authority. This is why I created the Art of Profit podcasting, which is totally different and what I do here. And I actually can see making enough money through intellectual property to buy an apartment complex. I can, I can see that. I mean, it's not like, you know, when you have a vision, it's kind of fuzzy. I can see it. It's very clear. It's very defined. It's like, my young man, you can do this. If you just go ahead, like I spent um, two hours this morning writing that email because I'm getting back into my isms and stuff. And during this great wealth transfer, there's going to be so much opportunity for people who are willing to deploy a three-year plan, a five-year plan, and a 10-year plan. And in the next five years, I feel that if I do the right things, that I can make a hundred million dollars. That's staggering because like I said, and I'm gonna tell you exactly how I'm gonna do it. Like right now, the people who are getting into the intellectual property school are getting into the deal because um, probably next month I'm going to have an online proctor and essentially everyone that enrolls in the intellectual property school is going to get a welcome email and they're going to get a phone number of someone that they can talk to and reach out if they have a problem because no one's no one's doing this. Maybe some people on a higher level are doing this, but there's going to be a support team for the students because one of my uh, go ahead and check out the Art of Profit podcast links below is if you want to get rich, concentrate on the customer. So there's going to be a relentless focus on the students like, you know, people have been signing up throughout the day for intellectual property. As soon as I see someone sign up, boom, they get an email, they get access to home economics. And that's going to get better because right now it's just me, but it's not a much activity because I envision a hundred signups per day. I envision this thing being the most successful thing I've ever done because of the environment that we're in. Everyone wants to work from home. I've been working from home for, since 2009. This is a verifiable fact. And if you've been watching my videos, you've seen me level up and level up and level up. Because with the email, we're talking about retirement. If I had retired in 2012, I couldn't live here. There's no way I can live here. I wouldn't be driving the Porsche. I wouldn't be driving the BMW. And it's about opportunity. Because during this wealth transfer, there's going to be a lot of shifting. And it's going to be 100% about skill sets and the adaptation of tech. If you are not adapting and learning how to use tech, you're going to get left behind. This is one of the reasons, like, I'll tell you something I do. I get a new iPhone every year. When the new model comes out, I get it. And I'm going to tell you something that I've noticed. My iPhone knows exactly where I live. And my iPhone knows where my office is. I never put that in there because of me going to this certain location and doing to the algorithm, it's like, this is an office park. This must be work. And in my phone, it has that as work. And in my phone, it has this as home. And whenever I turn on my phone and I'm walking to my car, it says 10 minutes to work. Automatically, automatically, 
I've never said iPhone, this is where I've never input that information. And because it's interfacing, because I'm part of the Apple family, I have iMacs, I have MacBook Pros, I have the iPhone, I have the iPad, and they all connect and talk to each other. And what's going to happen in the next five years, the tech that we have today is going to look like child's play compared to the tech that we're going to have in the next five years. And this is where the wealth transfer is going to happen. Uh, once again, because I can calculate like the Carl guy, I've having people say, you can't calculate net worth. This guy has not shown anyone any proof that he's got a billion dollar net worth. And based upon me and my astute analyzation skills, that when Bitcoin was $1,100, he did not have the $10 million that he would have needed to realize a billion dollar net worth when Bitcoin was at its all time high. He didn't have it because he was a cashier. He didn't have the skill sets. He came online and this is one of the reasons that intellectual property is going to be hot. It's going to be hot, 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 hot. Carl was able to create a YouTube channel and create an audience and amplify his audience and make money. I do believe Carl is worth probably 50, 60, 70 million dollars. I actually believe that. But a billionaire, he's not a billionaire. But guess what? In the future, due to tech, someone is going to start from scratch and create a billion dollar fortune in five or seven years. How do I know? Emily Weiss. Emily Weiss is the founder of Glossier. And Emily Weiss is a billionaire, a legitimate billionaire for the business, and she did it in about four and a half years. Well, if you look at the complete, argu the, uh, complete orbit, when she created Into the Gloss, which she had for four years before she created Glossier, it's about a nine to 10 year journey. But to be a regular person, well, Emily's not a regular person. She's a child of wealth and privilege. Once again, it's not enough to be smart. You have to be connected. You need resources. And she was very well connected. And you want to know how I know? There is a picture of Emily in high school riding a horse. If you know anything about horses, having a horse is a sure sign of wealth because it's extremely expensive to house and board a horse. And she had a horse, she had on the Equarian Escort, what is it, Escort, Escort, I forget how to say the word, but she had all the riding gear and she was deep in that. She had the riding boots, she had the suit, she had the little hat. Emily West was a child of privilege. She was a child of privilege. And because she was a child of privilege, she had connections. She, she was able to get to people and talk to people because they knew her on the intimate level. And do the tech. You're going to have someone in the next 10 years that is going to create a billion dollar fortune from scratch. Probably three to five years. And they're going to be a legitimate billionaire. And that is the power of tech. Because one of the things that if you want to participate in the greatest wealth transfer ever, you need to align yourself with tech. And once again, I'm not talking about cryptocurrency. I am talking about cybersecurity, data, uh, the, I, the cloud computing, that kind of tech. Because what I see, most cryptocurrency is like a rug pull. It's like they get y'all gassed up, they get you to buy it, it goes up high, then all of the people who came in early, they sell high and then it crashes and then all the people who bought high sell at a loss and lose money so i'm not talking about you know i do believe at some point and it's going to be a government regulated cryptocurrency i see it coming that's going to be the de facto cryptocurrency of the future i don't think virtually any of the cryptocurrencies maybe xrp maybe ripple will be around because they're, they're they have a use they have a function but i think that most of the made up cryptocurrencies that someone just made up in their basement are going to fail and go to zero just like luna and bitcoin very much may go to zero and but once again if you are a facilitator of crypto you can make a lot of money you have a youtube channel talking about crypto i am thinking about starting a youtube channel talking 
the real cryptos. But once again, it's such a time suck to investigate and do research for this. So once again, I don't know, because it's like, um, because once again, if I become a facilitator in the crypto space, I can make a lot of money. I can make a staggering amount of money just being a facilitator, not buying and investing in crypto because I've done the research and I've seen it. I've seen it over and over and over again, just become a facilitator. And there's a guy named Jesse Echo who does these videos talking about getting into these cryptos and how much money he made and everything. His views are crazy. He's probably making more money from his YouTube channel than he's made from crypto. So being a facilitator, you know, as I was having a conversation with someone who sells mining equipment, I was like, you're selling shovels to miners. Of course, you're going to make money. And I can see if you're on that side of the equation where you're selling the shovels to the miners, you're selling, you know, uh, Sam Friedman Bankman became a billionaire because he owns the exchange. He's a facilitator of crypto, more so than an investor in crypto. So I do feel that space is going to be quite lucrative going forward and it's not going to die. It's not going to go away because everyone has a dream that if I can somehow get into crypto on the ground floor, I can become extraordinarily wealthy without working that hard. That's the dream. That's the dream. And I feel that those people who are focused on that, like the early adapters, the people who get in the ground floor, the programmers, they will make the money. But the people, the end user, people buying the crypto, eh, it gets a little dicey because for you to make money with crypto as a buyer, as an investor, you need a lot of money. You need a lot of money because, you know, once again, let me be really clear and distinct here. If you go ahead and invest a hundred bucks in crypto and say it goes up to $10,000, you've made money. Congratulations. But you ain't no billionaire and you're not getting rich. So for the people who are going to get to the seven and eight figure net worths, they're going to actually start off with a few hundred thousand. They're not going to start off with two, three hundred bucks. And that's going to be the future. But in that space, there will be opportunities. And there's going to be opportunities in that space. There's going to be opportunities in iCloud computing. There's going to. But once again, this is let me go ahead and tell you. Tyler Perry is a billionaire from intellectual property. Tyler Perry. Yes, Mr. Chitlin Circuit himself. Mr. Medea is a billionaire because of intellectual property. See, this is where it's going to be a massive wealth transfer from the end user, the consumer to the creator. And this is a place that I'm going to be in because I have so many ideals. I have so many things I want to do because literally if you are a true creative person, the next 10 years, you can become a millionaire from your creative product. And when I say a true, because here's the thing, most true creatives are not good business people. They can get in their ism, they can get in their art and they can create, but they don't know how to monetize. And this is where the theft of intellectual property is going to happen. You're going to have someone who's going to create something beautiful, something magnificent, and someone's going to come along and recognize what it is, and they're going to rip that creator off. You're going to see that all over the place because these people don't know how to monetize, how to, because like one of my submissives is an artist. She's an amazing artist, like the Hustler Kung Fu. She actually created that logo for me. And She's just not good in math, but she's really creative. She could create some of the most beautiful things. So the true creatives who can navigate the waters between creation and business are going to become extraordinarily wealthy. I'm talking by 200 foot yacht wealthy. Go ahead and Google the price of a 200 foot yacht. I have a friend that has a 200 foot yacht and it is one of the nicest things that I've ever had the privilege of being on. It's just because we actually left Florida and went to the Bahamas, which is a common trip. It's about a hundred, 120 mile trip. And it's just so nice being on that water. So for me, my goal in the next five years is a hundred million. And I can actually see myself making that. 
I can see that. I can actually see it because of the environment and the resources and the tech. And here's the thing. If you get off your booty and get to work and start researching, you, you can make a lot of money in the next 10 years. And I'm talking life-changing money. I am talking buku money because I plan to participate in the wealth transfer from the end user to the creator because I'm the creator. And once again, this is why I've created Intellectual Property School because the first version of Intellectual Property School will not be nothing like the final version. The people who will get in early are going to be so thankful they got in because here's something about me you didn't know. I've gone through many matriculations. When I was in elementary school, I used to draw every day. And I took commercial art from the seventh grade to the 12th grade. Like um, a lot of my art creations were in a storage unit that got destroyed, so all that stuff's gone. But I am a truly creative soul, but I also know how to handle business. I am a very, very rare person the person who can actually create and the person who can actually facilitate. That is extremely rare. It's extremely rare to be able to navigate the creative world and to navigate the business world. But since I am a true creative, because you can go on amazon.com, I have a book of poetry on amazon.com. Before I got into the ism, I used to get women with poetry. I had this one girl, she had the beautiful, prettiest lips, just beautiful lips, glowing skin, and I wrote a poem about her and I read it to her. You know what happened? She started crying. She's like, I've never had anyone notice me like that. You actually see me. And she got very wet. She got extremely wet. So. Once again, you can go to Amazon. There's a book of poetry. And uh, I'm not going to even, because I haven't done this, because uh, I was wrote some um, erotica. So I'm a real creative person. And in that space, I will be able to talk to the true creatives and help them navigate the business world. Because the opportunity, like I'm just sitting here, I'm tingling. I'm kind of bouncing off my seat because I can see what's coming. Because in the future, Glendon Cameron will own an apartment complex. And in the future, Glendon Cameron will become permanently wealthy. Like once again, I got enough money to live the rest of my life in style. I, 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 if I, I don't have to work another day in the life if I don't want to. But here's the thing. I really don't work that hard. When I don't have some projects going on, you know what? I get up at 9.30. Like, me and my girl, we were in bed to like 10, just fucking. I know a lot of you weak, moist men hate to hear that. Oh God, he's talking about fucking. I, don't, I didn't come here for that. Yeah, you did. You just didn't know it. See, if you're watching this channel and you've watched many videos, you've come here for a reason. You've come here for a reason. And the moist men who are indoctrinated with feminine energy want to fight and resist because I am leading the way. I am showing you something. And also, this is one of the reasons that I feel that I'm going to make so much money. I am going to create uh, a men's course called Spiritual Fucking. That's going to be the course. And also, because I have experience, I know that title, Spiritual Fucking, because I would have to do that on Disruptive Mail, but I would have to sell it somewhere else. Because if my payment processors see spiritual fucking, they're like, ah, oh, no, 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 we're not gonna do this. But I already know how to handle that. So I'm gonna create that course, Spiritual Fucking, and how to get the woman that you actually want versus the woman that you tolerate. So that's coming up. Like, like I said, there's so much coming on. But during this wealth transfer, if you're willing to work, None of this fire stuff and investing in the stock market because a lot of those folks right now are shook. I have literally sat and watched YouTube videos like we're down, we're down 400,000, we're down a million dollars. And you know, one dude was like, he said, I went out and got me a part-time job. 
because we just cannot. Here's my thesis. If you start a small business and you serve people well, and let's say you started a small business for $5,000 and that's the only money you put in there. And let's say your small business makes $30,000 a year. So the first year you're $25,000 to the good. There is no investment that you can put $5,000 in and get $30,000 outside of a wild crypto play, which would be highly speculative and your timing's got to be correct. And then that's your first year. Then your second year, you make 40,000 without investing, without investing. So that is my thesis because you know, the proof of concept is my life, my life, you know, because once again, like uh, a lot of things are going to change in the future because uh, I'm getting ready to do some different kind of things. But this wealth transfer, if you choose to participate in it, you need to be in the owner's owner spot. You need to be in the owner's seat. You cannot be an employee unless you're a highly paid technical employee. You're a programmer or one of these cybersecurity people making half a million a year or $750,000 a year. You can do things with that level of capital. You can deploy it and you can start to make even more money with that level of capital. But for the rank and file, and I know the stats because I've looked up the stats, 81% of America makes $35,000 a year or less. That ain't no money. That ain't no money, man. So if you start a small business, you put yourself in the position to participate in the greatest wealth transfer ever. You put yourself in that position. And I saw one weak, moist comment. Out, why do you think you, oh, you need money for a woman to like you? Let me tell you what you need. Of the women that I have dated, none of them knew how much money I made. None of them. And I was able to get them without revealing that, which means you don't need money. You need confidence. But once again, the four mandates of disruptive men, the four mandates. If you as a disruptive male work on your economics, work on your body, work on your spirit, mental spirit, and then date submissive women, your life is going to be so happy. Notice the first three things have nothing to do with women. They're all about you. Are you going to participate in this great wealth transfer? Or are you going to sit on the sidelines and let all the other people get the money? Because it's going to be stupid out here. Like I said, it's my intention in the next five years to create enough capital where I can go out and buy an apartment complex and pay cash. Because once again, I study the uh, Google the price of an apartment complex. You cannot find that like because like uh, one apartment complex, I actually know the price of what they pay for. They pay 40 million dollars for two of them. And it's about 850 units between the two complexes. They paid 40 million in 2011. You know, that same apartment complex is worth like 100 million now because this is what they do. They buy them. They rent them out. They get the cash flow for running. And then when they appreciate, they flip them for a, an extremely large payday. Because this, the apartment complex I used to live in need, used to be named, um, I cannot even, Glen, Glenwood something. And it has changed ownership four times because the first time it sold for 40 million. And this last time, I guarantee you it sold for 100 million. So whoever bought it for 40 made 60 million. But see, that's not going to be my play. My play is to buy the apartment complex and put it in a trust and just hold on to it forever and then leave it to my hairs. That's my plan. Because once I do that, once I get that money and to buy that apartment complex, I become permanently wealthy. There's nothing I can do to mess up my wealth. I can develop a wild cocaine habit and still be able to cash flow that easily easily so what's your plan what are you going to do what are you going to participate in what is your plan man because the great wealth transfer is upon us and oh man it's just going to be glorious for those who are prepared and it's going to be economic hell for those who are not prepared it's just the way it's going to be all right 
you got four days to get into the intellectual property school. So let me tell you what's going to be part of the school because you guys have not seen anything. Right now, everyone that's coming in, you're in home economics. That's going to take about two weeks for you to get through that. Then you're going to get into how to create an offer and then scripted days. Then we're going to get into some ism because I have a group, not a Facebook group, but there will be a group for the home economics, not for the home economics, for the intellectual property students. And there will be swag right now. I am having a designer work on an intellectual property t-shirt that everyone that's in the course is going to get. So there's going to be swag. There's going to be, there's going to be so much. And at some point there's going to be a proctor of someone you could pick up the phone and call if you got questions. So there's going to, be, this isn't going to be just a regular, you go ahead and take a course and you don't get no help. There's going to be a support team to help you. And there's going to be weekly challenges because here's the thing, here's the thing. I know for a fact that I can teach you how to make money. Can I teach you how to make money in 30 days? Absolutely not. Can I teach you how to make money in 90 days and quit your job? Nope. Can I teach you how to make enough money where you can quit your job if you want to in three years? Absolutely. Because once again, this is what is common in the message. Everyone, you know, I'm going to say three years. Some of you are going to do it in a year. Some of you are going to do it in two years. It, I, it's like, but for the average person, starting from scratch with no experience. We're looking at a three year process where in six to 12 months you will start making money, but you get to the bigger money in year three. I want you to imagine, I want you to sit down and think, cause this is my life. I haven't worked from home since 2009. I've not had to deal with rush hour traffic, uh, save when I was in the car rental business. Uh, I've not had to deal with there's so much thing. My life is pretty much stress free because of the intellectual property business that I run. And I'm going to, I'm going to expose you guys. I'm going to hip you guys to some things that you have never heard before, like writing books. You know, there's uh, some YouTube ads about putting books on Kindle and having someone else write them and all this other stuff and get them ranked. I'm not going to teach you that because that's not what I did. I actually wrote my book. I'm going to teach you how to write a book. I'm going to teach you how to use a YouTube channel. I'm going to teach you how to have a small YouTube channel and make money. I'm going to teach you how to create an online course. And this is this right here is going to be the real value because not only am I going to teach you how to create an online course, I'm going to teach you how to teach because just creating a course, you know, a lot of people could create a course, but it's a vocation to teach people. Remember when you were in school, remember your, your favorite teachers? And I'm gonna teach you how to do that. So we're gonna get into it. We're gonna have a lot of classes. We're gonna, this, this is gonna get really, really intense. And the people who are getting in now are gonna be so glad they got in early because when I get rolling, the price of this is gonna be about three to maybe $4,000. So right now is the time to get in and you have four days to get in before we adjust the pricing. So go ahead and get in. Enroll right now. It's going to be in the first comment or it should be in the, the uh, section that there's links everywhere because like today I've had a steady trickle of people coming in and I know each day this week it's going to be more and more and more and I may literally have 100 people pop in on the 30th because a lot of people will wait to the last minute. I don't know what's up with that, but stop waiting because your future, the sooner you start this, it's the sooner your the clock starts for your future. Because once again, you're not going to quit your job. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to teach you how to quit your job. I'm going to teach you how to do this and keep your job and make more money. I'm going to teach you how to get your long term emergency fund. I'm going to teach you how to have so much money in the bank that you develop an attitude that you have an attitude like they talking to me like this at work deuces. I'm going to teach you how to have options. So go ahead and enroll in the intellectual property school because we're gonna have a lot of fun, man. We're gonna have a lot of fun. So go ahead and do it today.